Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. So first let's talk about what's new with clustering with Windows 2008 before we talk about Windows 2008 R2. So we have cluster validation now. This allows us to get our cluster ready run a validation wizard and it can tell us if our cluster is supported or if we have any warnings we should check out or any errors. So this is an excellent step in making a cluster easier to set up. Also we have a simplified cluster setup. Now we have applications that we cluster as opposed to uh, resource groups where we have to configure all the dependencies and things like that. A lot of the normal applications that we have a cluster can be configured in literally one minute so very fast and we'll see this we have support for GPT partition style which is a huge jump because technology and the amount of disk space we have available to us it took a huge huge jump in the last five years so now with GPT partition style we can have a drive that is larger than two terabytes in fact much larger also support for multiple subnets. Now we can have one node and one subnet in a cluster and another node in another subnet. And this is especially important with multi-site clustering. And IP version 6. IP version 6 is the next step. So it's now supported with Windows Server 2008 clustering. Now let's take a look at what's new between Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server 2008 R2. We have Validation enhancement. So the validation wizard that we go through now gives us more information, best practices, things like that, and it tips us off into things that might cause problems down the road. Yeah, it's supported, but we should really check this out. So a lot of enhancements there. We have a migration wizard that will migrate our clusters from not only Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2008 R2 and Windows Server 2008 to Windows Server 2008 R2, but also from Windows 2008 R2 to another Windows 2008 R2 cluster. So if we're maybe upgrading our hardware, something like that, we can easily migrate our cluster over, even if we're already at Windows 2008 R2. So it's a great tool. We have PowerShell support. In fact, this is uh, very ingrained to clustering now. We can do pretty much everything with PowerShell. New role support. We can cluster print servers, uh, and there are enhancements to some other roles as well. And finally, clustered share volumes. And this has specifically to do with Hyper-V and being able to migrate a machine from one node to another without it being on its own disk. So basically multiple nodes can access the same disk. And also has to do with live migration, being able to migrate a virtual machine while it's running from one node to another.